All right, so the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is easily my favorite camera. I've been using this thing ever since it came out, and honestly, if I could only have one camera in my whole arsenal, this would be the one I'd use. Now, even though it doesn't need it, I've bought a bunch of accessories for this thing. Things to make it easier to shoot with or just make it more fun to use. So I've come up with a list of five accessories that you probably didn't know you need. All right, so the first accessory is a power bank. Now, I didn't get the creator combo for the Pocket 3, so I don't have the battery grip that it comes with. And honestly, I think I found a better solution for that. What I have here is the Anchor... <laughs> what is this? What I have here is the Anchor Nano Power Bank. And what's different with this from other power banks is that this has a built-in USB-C connector. So I can just plug this straight into my camera. So when I'm using the Pocket 3, I'm almost using it for the whole day. And the battery in it won't last a whole day, obviously. Now it does have fast charging, which is really nice because I can just stop real quick plug it up into my like a regular power bank with a USB-C cable. And since it fast charges, it takes about 15 minutes to get almost 100%. It gets a good amount of charge back in. But the problem with that though, is that I have to stop whatever I'm filming, get all the power bank cables out, plug it all in. And you know, for about 15 minutes, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting there waiting for it to charge. But with the Anchor Nano power bank, I can just plug it right into the USB-C connector on it and it's good to go. It still charges the battery without me having to stop, sit down, plug everything up. It's also a higher capacity than the battery handle from DJI. I think that one is 950 milliamp hour, and this one is 5000. So with this, I can get a good two full charges on the Pocket 3. Now this is pretty lightweight, and I'm not worried about it breaking the USB port on the back of the Pocket 3. But if you're worried about something like that, you can always get an additional base. Now I couldn't find DJI selling them individually, so accessory number two is a smaller base for the Pocket 3. All right, so this is the one I got from DJI. And this is the third party accessory that I got on Amazon. And what's nice about this is that it has some weight to it, so it keeps it weighted down and it has a flatter base. So when you connect it to the Pocket 3, it's, it's more stable with this on. Unlike the base from DJI, you know, you can still stand it, but it's definitely not as stable as the uh, this base over here. So this makes the Pocket 3 more low profile. And it still has the uh, tripod mount on the bottom, so you can still attach your handle to it. And or it's just like the original. And with my accessory number one here, the power bank, plug that in doesn't get in the way, still charges the pocket, everything works fine. This is great. So the third accessory is this. This is a phone holder for the Pocket 3. This is from Sunny Life. And what's nice about this is that it holds your phone so you can use your phone as a monitor for the Pocket 3. So it's a much bigger screen. Like the screen on the Pocket 3 is nice and big already as it is, but sometimes you just want it a little bit bigger. All right, so let me show you how this works. You're gonna need the original base for the Pocket 3. You can't use the small base from my accessory number two. <laughs> or you can use the battery grip that comes with the Pocket 3, which we already know I don't have. <laughs> But yeah, you just put this in there and then connect the pocket to it. Right, so that's how that looks. And then you connect your phone to the pocket three. So let me just connect that real quick. Put the phone in, in here. My right, phone's connected. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the? And there you go. Now you got a much bigger screen for your pocket three. Now this still has a tripod mount in the bottom, so you can still attach a tripod mount to it and you can hold it that way too. What's nice about this accessory is that you can use your phone as a screen as I was showing you, or you can use it as a teleprompter. So let me show that real quick. I'm using the iPhone, so I'm using the teleprompter app for it. It's actually a free app, but there is a paid version for it too. So let's go ahead and open that up real quick. And there you go, you just attach your phone and you get a nice teleprompter that you can use with your Pocket 3. Then you just turn the camera around so you can film yourself. Now the screen's a little bit hard to see, so it's a little bit difficult to frame yourself, but you can still see yourself in there somewhat. So it's not too difficult. And if you have the battery grip, it'll sit much higher, so the screen will be above the phone. Now I'm using the 12 Pro Max here, and it's one of the bigger phones. So if you're using a smaller phone, you probably won't have this problem like I am. But yeah, I love this accessory. All right, so the fourth accessory that you didn't know you need is a selfie stick. <laughs> now I don't mean using a selfie stick like you normally would, like just holding it out in front of you and you know filming yourself, because the way that I use a selfie stick, you know, let me show you how I use it because I think it'll be easier to explain it that way. All right, so as a solo creator, it's pretty hard to film myself, but with the selfie stick though and the Pocket 3, it makes it really easy. Just open it up. You need the tripod base too, of course. And wherever I'm at, I have my own filming crew. And now it looks like I have my own camera guy with me at all times, especially with the active truck. So having this as a solo creator is definitely awesome to have. It's not just good for videos too because with the mic I can use it as a remote and have my own photographer with me at all times. So let me just set this up real quick. Now the last accessory I'm going to talk about here is this. This is a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. I'm traveling right now, so all I have are my noise canceling headphones for the plane, but these will still work. Just plug the 3.5 into the adapter and then plug this into the Pocket 3. 
Okay, let me take those off because you can't hear those anyways. But, but with this accessory, you'll be able to monitor the audio out of your DJI mics that are connected to the Pocket 3. So you'll be able to tell if you need to raise the gain on any of the mics or if you're getting some weird noise interference with the mics. It's nice to be able to monitor the audio out of the mics. I'm sure you can plug in any USB-C headphones to the Pocket 3 to monitor the audio, but in case you don't have a USB-C headphones, this is the adapter you should get. So yeah, these are the five accessories for the Pocket 3 that you didn't know you needed. And you probably still don't, but... <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions about anything here or if there's another accessory for the Pocket 3 that you think I should know about. Like, let me know because I like wasting money, apparently. <laughs> uh, see you.